day guys welcome to my channel Jilly Cube from Queensland Australia I'm going to do a pour for you today I'm going to do um, a, well I'm going to do a dip actually and I had this packing packing that was some products obviously from packing in and I thought I wonder what it will come out to do a dip because it's already all nice and crinkly whether it will add a bit of um, texture to the paint when I dip it so I've cut a bit off so as I tell you always try not to waste anything because it might be good for pouring on so this is yeah just a piece of um, packing material some description but I want to keep some of the wrinkles in it to get hopefully get kind of um, an effect on my canvas so I'm going to try dipping two canvases on it so that looks as though it'll be the be the go be the right one what I like to do is um, yeah that's my little focus on the good live in the moment reminding myself today everything that's going on in the world um, but yeah what I like to do is I just like to tape it down a bit just so if I lift my canvas up it doesn't pull uh, the material that I've got dipping on away with it oh, well that's the theory probably still can happen and I've got my my dogs and my son's dog are happily playing on the floor beside me having a good old time so if you can hear these little paw prints it's them and we've also got a very very windy day here so it's sort of knocking the trees against my building and yeah all sorts of things happening so I want some wrinkles wrinkles are good girls wrinkles are good shows you've lived a life worth living I reckon that wrinkly enough for you <laughs> okay I'm going to be using my gorgeous Montmar um, pre-made pouring paints going to um, so you don't have to do anything with these if you would like to get more cells or something then maybe put them in a small cup and add just one drop of Helmar silicon or something similar that's what I get the best results with so these are all pre-made pouring paints they're great if you've got um, just a very small space because you haven't got to have all the glues and pouring medium and tables to do all your mixing so they're great for a pour to get get you through your day if you want to do a pour but you don't have the time or the energy to do all the mixing these are great and they're also great to give us gifts because they come in uh, they come in little they come in little packs like this as well which I found are great they're great if you want to give a gift of you know like this and a few canvases to start somebody off um, and what I found is especially the elderly people that can sit at a table and have all the paints pre-mixed they love love these and um, a few nursing homes that I've spoke to have been starting doing the acrylic pouring classes with their elderly and their nursing home people because they they feel as though they're creating a piece of art that they may never have done in the whole of their life so these little packs uh, in America and US there is a link to stockists that's all that I can find the stockists is the link on the bottom and in the UK um, maybe Amazon but it, of course in Australia we're lucky enough we've got a great online supplier that sell them at very reasonable price and they're delivered to your door so all those links are below my video um, so without further ado 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 let's get this baby on the road so trying to dip on this crinkled wrinkled paper and don't forget your protection wear your gloves all these paints are marked as non-toxic but obviously uh, they can stay in the skin especially these are really highly pigmented so just advise you to have your 
gloves on. Okay, so what I want to do is just kind of mark where I'm going to put my canvas so I don't pour way too much paint over it. Husband's just come in. Did you want something, darling? <laughs> He's been working all day putting up a veranda, uh, what is it? A roofed veranda, roof patio. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm doing a dip today, darling. Uh, special one. Special one. Just for you. Special one. Just for you. Special like you know. Uh -uh. Okay. Little disturbance from my husband. Wanted to know a few things. So I had to stop the video. Show him where a few things was that was in front of his nose. You know what it's like, ladies and gentlemen. Um, anyway, we'll get busy with this. Yes, so I've marked it. And I'm going to put the paint... Uh, the pouring paint just how easy is this I'm just gonna do the outline where I want it to be oh, where I want it to be where the size of the actual oh, canvas will be lumps and crinkles and all I'm gonna do the chevrons because I always get the nicest results from chevrons um, I find so that's the white and I'm going to use this bright yellow Bindi do not chew my towel you naughty girl do not chew the towel bind she's just pulled a towel down she's not normally does this but because my son's dog is only a puppy she's kind of gone back to puppy behavior Hey, well, I hope these bumps and lumps are, um, yeah, kind of give some kind of organic effect to the canvas underneath. Just got to, um, if you have trouble with any of your paints, the paint won't come out. Just put a little, um, hey, 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 bin. Put a little skewer in it. Oh, I'm going to have to go put these gloves out. Bind. Stop it. Stop it. So that's that one, that one. Okay. I'll have the purple, which is the dark purple. I think I'll have to do one that's all um, peacock colours. That would be nice, I think. Peacock colours. Now this one is Shiraz, so this is really nice and out there. <laughs> Bright. It's the wind blowing my um, fly curtain that I've got on the studio door. It's really quite fierce today. Well, they're all my favourites, but I love, as you, if you follow my paws, you'll know that I just love turquoise. Oh, I just love bright colours, what should I say? That's probably what I should say. I just love the bright colours, but I love turquoise because you can put it with most things. I'll add a bit of silver, which the silver and gold in these paints are so lovely. So this is a really good beginner's pour as well but it also is good for an advanced pourer to do because you always have really good results from it. So this is the ultramarine, yeah ultramarine blue. I've got all colours happening in here. Bright and uplifting, that's what you need these times. 
where there's all craziness going on in the world. Hope that this um, virus hasn't affected any of you guys. And if you have, stay safe. Definitely stay safe. I think that should about do it. We'll see how we go with those. There seems to be plenty of paint on there for me. So it's simply, it's probably good if you put some push pins in the back because if you're not used to doing this, so you can use that, your push pins to hold on to when you're pulling it off. But I completely forgot about them. So what I do is I just, I just use my fingers. I know different artists use different things. Oh, there you go. Could use the comb. I don't know. You could use a card, anything. It just to push the paint under there. So you, you're getting a coverage on your If there's any uh, of paint that hasn't reached your canvas, you can all don't worry about it because you can always um, balloon dip. Ooh, oh, okay, pretty. That will dry so much brighter. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous, actually. Cool. I like it. I'll just push it back there till we get the other one done. See what I mean? Oh, look at those colours around the outside. Uh, I'm going to put some more white in the centre. Again, I'm going to still do my chevrons. Probably could get some coasters and all sorts out of this. All well, those colours are just beautiful. Really lovely. The chevrony. Yeah, so really good beginner's pour, a great advanced pour, and it does look, you know, when you come out with these kind, you know, it can look like you've done something really special, and yet it was such an easy process, but um, lovely. I just want to put, add a bit more colour in here, because you know how I love colour. So the yellow didn't show up so much in that, probably because it was one of the first colours that I put down. So I will add it last this time. Yeah, I could probably get some coasters and push them in these bits of paint. All right. So that's that one and it's developing beautifully. So that silver will dry nice and, well it is a metallic silver, so it'll dry nice and sheeny, sheeny, shiny. Should I put it more over this way this time? My dog's having a great old time. I have to try and lift the little one up to show you guys. <laughs> The other one I will not be lifting up because she's an Australian Shepherd and she would probably weigh over 40 kilos, I would imagine. Don't try and lift her up. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck, wish me luck. Ooh, pouring gods. Oh yes, that is gorgeous too. Look at the silver with the blues. See already that's coming up with these teeny tiny little cells. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this. How beautiful are they? I mean, they're punched on the same paper. Now, lots of people ask me, so what difference did it make? To me, as it dries, they kind of, those wrinkles that were in the um, plastic that I dipped on, it sort of gives an organic feel. They do have a bit of ring, you know, a bit of texture in the paint as it dries. I'm very happy with that. I will put some photos on at the end of this work um, when they've dried off. And I will, yeah, let, let you tell me what you think. 
give it a go guys the, the the pouring paints so easy you can't really go wrong with them so when you're first starting off this does give you a bit of confidence that you can create something quite nice um, it's also I've done you know there's so many ways to do dips and I've got I think I've got whole section on my playlist of dip videos so um, and they all look different so there you go okay you guys be safe thank you so much for joining me um, until next time bye for now I'll leave those there and I will come back okay thanks thanks guys just another bonus bit to the end of my video uh, because I've got so you know a bit of paint left there I'm going to dip this it was one that I did earlier in another and I don't you know I thought I'll just I just wanted to dip the back of it so it has got some bits bits to it but I thought I've got that paint there sitting there so I want to see if I can make anything over that so I thought I'll dip that round onto this and see what I've come up with um, so I'm adding it as a bonus bit on the end of the video I think or I might just put this on my oh, Facebook page might be the idea you guys stop it hey 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 oh dear it's like having a zoo it's like having a zoo stop it so so i'm gonna do it this way might be a disaster could be a master i like what's coming out of it All those colours, just beautiful. I feel like I should be doing something with these too. So, have a double cider. Ooh, will it or won't it? Ah, uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, there you go. I just wanted to. Um, I'll have to put this on a small tray. is kind of developing a bit I might just add the heat torch and just see if it I didn't add the heat torch to the other two I just did but we'll just see what it, any if any difference it makes I just thought I'd add that bonus bit on at the end of the round so there you go it is a little bit muddy I would say it isn't definitely isn't perfect because maybe because of, you know the colors are not so crisp now but anyway go with the flow Joe and focus on the good and live in the moment till next time bye for now